Another new feature within Next is the multi-cut tool. The multi-cut tool integrates three separate but similar tools in one. Here I have a character with symmetry enabled and the first tool I want to show you within multi-cut is a traditional cut type tool. So this would be similar to your split polygon tool. So here I'm just going to create a simple cut. You'll notice that as I make that cut it's automatically reflected on both sides of course because symmetry is enabled and I can just hit enter or just right click to actually bake in that cut. So beyond being able to actually use uh, symmetry with cut there are also some additional interactivity options within cut. So I'm just going to switch to shaded mode and if I hold down shift I'll automatically snap to edges and it's just going to snap right to the 50% mark along an edge. If I hold shift and drag along an edge you'll notice that I'm snapping at 25%. I think the default is 10 so I can just switch that back to 10 and you'll notice now that if I hold shift I can just uh, snap along 10% of that edge. At any point I can come back to any of these other edges and just freely position them or uh, move them along that edge or if I switch back to holding shift you'll see that it's going to snap again to 10% along that edge. Now continuing this cut I can start or create a new cut point along the face and then come to a edge here or actually a point and you'll notice the highlight on that is is yellow because it's on a vertex and then uh, I can finish the cut by just ending on that vertex and right clicking and you'll see that it's applied to both sides uh, perfectly. So beyond the cut function with the next you have an insert edge loop function so here I'm just holding control and you'll see that I can uh, insert an edge loop actually this is just a preview and you'll notice it's on both sides of course because I have symmetry enabled and if I hold uh, or actually if I hover over any of these edges you'll see that I can just interactively see a preview of where this cut is going to be applied so if I just left click it actually just create that cut and here I just created two cuts now I'm going to undo that last one and show you that if I instead of left clicking just middle click uh, anywhere along that edge it'll actually snap it right to the middle of that and again I'll undo that and this time I'll show you that you can actually hold down shift and actually snap and this is snapping 10 percent along that edge so again if I switch this to maybe 25 again and hold down control shift you'll notice that it's uh, giving me an insert edge loop at 25 percent along that edge so I can just click and then click again and you'll notice that uh, that's the insert edge loop function. You'll also notice that as I move my cursor uh, away from the mesh, so over here in this dead space area, uh, my cursor changes and, and now I'm into a slice type tool. So here I can just left click drag and just create a quick slice that will go through the mesh all the way around it. So just by left clicking you'll just create quick little slices like that if you prefer to be a little bit more precise with that you can just left click and then left click again and you'll get these two little dots that will allow you to uh, position them exactly how you'd like and then just by pressing enter or right clicking you'll actually engage that cut